Hey VV Nation, welcome to the channel. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest. And you know, on Tuesdays, just like every night, uh, we have a 6 p.m. video. So welcome to the 6 p.m. video. So tonight, I wanted to do a straightforward, simple search. We know that the Russell 2000 is where money is rotating into. And I wanted to look at some stocks that were going to be on the rise that I think are going to explode in their lower dollar stocks. I specifically looked for stocks that were lower than $5. Now, many of you are not in that arena. And if you're not, then you know something, you can bypass this video. We got some more videos for you coming in the near future. But for those of you who wanted to take advantage of the Russell 2000 on the move, these are some very spectacular stocks, but I think that they have the ability to go up and go up nicely. So tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get into the program. Here's my stocks, All right? Three of them. Um, and they're biotechs. A couple of them are biotechs. Let me go over to the right. Uh, drug, biotech, healthcare products, healthcare products as well. All right. So now if the Russell 2000 is what's moving, why not take advantage of some of those stocks that are low dollar stocks that are on the rise that you can take advantage of? Why do I call them speculative? Because the relative values and the relative safeties are both below one. Relative timing on HRTX though, a therapeutical, is above one. So it's already in an uptrend. And CRS, Coherence Bioscience, is right at an RT just about one could be getting ready to go rock and roll. VST, only one stock has a VST above one, I'm telling you that these are speculative plays. Uh, earnings growth on HRTX, which is not normal. Well, it's got earnings, negative earnings, but a positive earnings growth and positive sales growth. Now, Osir, again, speculative play, um, looking at negative earnings growth, negative sales growth, negative earnings. Why would you want to take advantage of that? This is not long-term plays. These are short-term explosive plays. CRS, sitting at, look at this, earnings growth rate of 15%, even though it's negative earnings, but look at the sales growth. Wow, that may have some big upside. So again, these are speculative plays. These are not long-term plays, but I'm going to show you how to take them if you want them. I'm going to graph them all. I'm going to put these on a three-month graph. What would I look for? Well, one, before I jump on board with these, let's make sure that these stocks are in the fast lane. Look at this. HRTX riding from the slow lane to the middle lane, now to the fast lane. Very little wicked today's candle, which means it's trading at session highs. And I actually do like the volume that I see on that. Let's go to the next one. Oh, sure has been beaten up. Could this be the time that it's now getting back into the fast lane and rocking and rolling? I'd like to see more earnings. I'm sorry, more volume. But look at that move. $4.50 trading at session highs. No wick at the top in the fast lane. And the last stock is CRS. Again, coming from the slow lane to the middle lane into the fast lane. Yes, folks, these are speculative plays. But... Uh, you guys love fish, and I wanted to give you some fish that I think can take advantage of the hottest indice that's going on right now, which is the Russell 2000. This is probably one of my shortest videos, but keep in mind, um, three stocks, these are fish. Let me know what you think about them, all right? Uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're brand new to the channel, we do have videos that will help people who don't have a lot of money in the market to take advantage of some speculative stuff. Now, when I look at these stocks and I'm looking at them in the fast lane, when do I get out of them? If they turn around and move into the middle lane, then I probably take them off the table. Well, with that, folks, this video is over. Yeah, it is, short video. Until the next time, see ya.